What's the worst that can happen? It's not like the game could crash. <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting up now. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Was Alexa on for you? <clears throat> oh god, that sounds horrible. What? <laughs> what the? What sounds horrible? Is this where you meet Wally? Yeah, it is. Hello. Dawn. Huh? Oh, he said Alexa is turned on. Oh. <laughs> Did Horrible. I say... Did I say that? <laughs> Did I? Did I actually say that? <laughs> Did I? I didn't mean to say that if I said that. <laughs> I didn't even know I said that to be fair. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> the worst that I shouldn't say that last time I said that you crashed. <clears throat> What's going to happen? My phone's going to crash? <laughs> hope not. I hope not. Tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow is... Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. And then Friday. Why do I have to help Wally get his Pokemon? And then there was explosives. When is the new Obi Wan show uh, show coming out? I was gonna say movie, but it's a movie. Yeah, I was gonna say. But yeah, when's the new show coming out? Is it supposed to be late, the beginning of the year? Uh, it just has a it just has a year of twenty two. We don't know that. Supposed to come out next. If it's gonna have come out next year in December thirty first, I swear to God. <laughs> that that'd be a that'd be a that'd be a dickhead thing to do if they did that. Yeah, that's where it pretty much. Well, I would send a letter saying, "Okay, you're gonna." What's in year and actually release it so that way you don't pull a game freak and release a game after a couple years. <clears throat> well, then again, if it were George Lucas, he would he would do it a lot better. But I mean, Star Wars. It doesn't have to be 
if Star Wars isn't made by George Lucas, it doesn't have to be. How do I explain this? It doesn't have to be good. I just. It doesn't. Not made by George Lucas. Like. But still, he's the original maker of it, so. I know. That and Indiana Jones. Clone Wars isn't. Clone Wars was just created by George Lucas. He doesn't actually work in the show. Yeah, but still, he, he did kind of help with the whole thing of creating Star Wars. <clears throat> oh, but Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars The ba Star Wars Rebels, George Lucas isn't involved in that. Yeah. Still. So... That just shows that even without George Lucas, Star Wars can still be great. Yeah. Besi you mean besides the whole newer shows after Episode Six? Yeah. Trilogy. Episode Eight is. It's great if you haven't seen a Star Wars movie at all. Rogue One was okay, but the other two, no. Well, so let me explain this. Ro the Last Jedi. If you have never seen a Star Wars movie at all, you'd think it's a fantastic movie. But if you are a huge hardcore fan of Star Wars, you're going to cry. Yeah. The only good part in The Force Awakens was when they showed the Millennium Falcon and uh, Han Solo. <clears throat> but sadly, they decided, oh, why don't we kill him off? One of the most best characters in the whole Star Wars series. Well, that that wasn't that wasn't decision. That was Harrison Ford's decision. Yeah, well, he's he, terrible. He, I bet he got a lot of hate for that. Well, he didn't want to play Han Solo anymore. He wanted Han Solo to die in Episode Five. Mm. How'd that back work out? For him? Well, George Lucas was like, "No, you got to come back for Episode Six. You lazy sack, shit, get back to work." Yeah, pretty much. Still, he did a good job playing him. Yeah. It's just average. Ben I think... Who, and the I think... Who, who, sorry, you go. I think you did a really good job with acting is, uh... What's his name? The person who played Luke? Or Palpatine? In The Last Jedi, Luke Sky Mark Hamill is amazing as Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. Undoubtedly so. I agree with that. He did a fantastic job. So, they kind of made Luke a grumpy old man. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... He, he did the grumpy old man very well. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he made it so believable. He even got a he He even got a, an award for Best Actor. Yeah, I feel like if you want to, you could get a, you could be part of two grumpy old men. Mm hmm Where it's just Han Solo and Luke being old grandpas. Ooh, man. God, they did a fantastic job on all of the movies that had Luke. Um, <clears throat> Luke, Han Solo, Leia, Chewie, all of them, except The Force Awakens. And Jake. Uh, we all fall, Tom. Never had one. <laughs> you know, Star Wars has... Star Wars The Clone Wars had some of the most amazing acting I've ever seen in a show. Yeah, they did. They Darth did. Maul, I think Darth Maul's voice actor definitely uh, yeah. deserves some praise. Also, was it, was it the same person who voiced Palpatine? Uh, yeah. He voiced Palpatine, he voiced Starkiller, he voiced Maul. I forget the original name of the person who voiced Palpatine. Palpatine in the movie? Uh, both the movies and the show. Uh, he doesn't play Palpatine in the show, but he uh, plays him in the movies. Because His name? One's a little bit vaguely different from the original movie. Uh, I think 
I think the original Palpatine is always going to be the greatest. Yeah, no doubt about it. Wait, no, there's... How, first of all, here's my question. Did they, did they intend to make Palpatine sound like, uh, how should I say, a little, off, like his voice a little off and unique? Like uh, what it was supposed to, or did they intend to do that? Well, in episode six, where the Emperor uh, first appears, um, George Lucas wanted to make the Emperor sound like old and like dark but then they're like oh how did he look like that so in episode three when they show mace windu blocking the force lightning into palpatine his face all gets all disfigured he's raised. then he comes with that deep he's voice raisin. and that's what happens when you eat too much raisin bran Yes, my oh, it's so creepy. I like a lie. When I first heard that voice, I was kind of scared of it. I mean, I think we were all scared of it when, uh. Then again, I did think that Yoda was kind of creepy at the time. Yeah. Who else is great at <laughs> the person who voiced I'm uh, at... Mace Windu? Sit down, young Scott. Um, Anakin, voice actor in uh, the Clone Wars, is Obi great. Oh, voice actor in the Clone Wars is great. Obi Wan's voice actor, one hundred percent. Ahsoka's voice actor is even, or voice actress is even great. Like they should have at least put one slight scene. Well, actually, never mind. They didn't know at the time that they were gonna probably put that Ahsoka in the show or series. So I can't really. Well, well they put her. They put her in the pilot movie. Yeah. But, they entered but like they Captain. Did, they did not put it in uh, episode three. No, Ahsoka is nowhere to be seen in episode three because she's on Mandalore with Rex. Yeah, lazy piece Take of shit. All. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I, I'm just glad they turned her from probably one of the most hated Star Wars characters to one of the most favorites. I thought that was Obi Wan. <clears throat> now nah, Obi Wan's never really been hated. No, but I meant favorite. I know, but Ahsoka went from being hated like the most to like but people you know, are like people hate me so do yeah well they still do never mind <laughs> you can kind of be annoying sometimes i feel like if they put Percy in the in the movie though you would instead say instead of saying take a seat young skywalker you would say sit your ass down young skywalker <laughs> <laughs> um the clones Definitely are acted very well. Yeah. Consider all the clones are uh, voice acted by but one a person. Which he should get a lot. I bet he got a, like a ton of respect for doing all the voices of them. I yeah, like dude, he did. Dude, he did all the voices of the Bad Batch. Mhm. Mm That's him. Yeah. He he just did a fantastic job, jo uh, not job, uh, job saying that. Well, Count voicing them. Count Dooku and Cad Bane also have very good voice actors. Well, actually, Count Dooku and Cad Bane by the same person. Same for Boba Fett and Jango Fett. <laughs> uh, who else? Qui Gon Jinn, even though he's only seen like very briefly. Still, a lot of people wanted him to live. <clears throat> there were a lot of people that want Qui Gon to live so that he could train Anakin. Darth Maul. 
it's just like amazing. Yeah. Let's see. It, the Clone Wars just it's probably one of the best shows on Cartoon Network to ever exist. When did it even start? Hold up. The Clone Wars Clone started in late 2008. Two thousand three, November seventh. Oh, that that's the original Clone Wars. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. OG Clone Wars. Yeah. Star Wars based Based off the grand and the most famous George Lucas. <clears throat> the grand and most famous George Lucas, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> John Williams, uh, the theme music composer. He didn't compose the show, they're just basing it off of yeah. his themes. Yeah. Uh, directed, oh, he did George Lucas didn't direct it? Well, I'm kind of sad about no, that. No, but he was probably involved with uh, the characters yeah. that were introduced in there. Yeah. I can't pronounce his last name. Gandhi something. <clears throat> <clears throat> Star Wars The Clone Wars has some of the uh, voice, or Star Wars Clone Wars has uh, some of the original voice actors, like Obi-Wan's voice, Count Dooku's voice, Yoda's voice. I think that's it. Mace Windu? Nah, I think Mace... I don't in, know, in, because... In the original show, didn't they uh, show a scene where Obi-Wan would have to get... Earn the rank Jedi Knight. He gets Jedi Knight in episode one, actually, yeah. at the end of episode one. When Obi Wan defeated uh, Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth Bitches, also known as. Yeah. I will, well, isn't that the whole reason why he doesn't like dual sabers? I mean, not double. Dual sabers. I meant double sabers. It's because of that one reason where Quite Gone died to Maul is where when he hates double sabers. Also, Qui Gon's stamina failed him. Yeah. Too. In more ways than one, I can tell you that. <laughs> You know, the Clone Wars, even if even people that don't like the prequel trilogy love the Clone Wars. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, a, there are pretty much a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, like Episode 3 and 4, and Episode 6. <clears throat> Though, Episode 5... Uh, I will say I kind of didn't understand it the first time I watched it, so. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. <clears throat> it's mainly the Rebels just being on the run the entire movie. Yeah, I guess that would be why I didn't really like it as a kid, but when I grew up a little more, then I started to like it. <clears throat> Padme also, like, Padme was also very well hated. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't she Prequel always? Because her actress, everyone hated. Yeah. Judge her Binks, people hated oh, in the prequel every, trilogy. To this day, everyone hates him. Well, they liked him better in the Clone Wars. But in the movies? No. No. The battle droids people hated. <laughs> it was, I thought it was. I didn't hate them at all. Well, I mean, their voices. No, yeah. in the movie. Their voices, yeah, but. The. The. the actual, all voice. What they look like in the graphics wise. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think they did a pretty good job on it. Even though it is kind of creepy.
You know, fun fact, Ahsoka was actually originally going to be Obi-Wan's Padawan. Yeah, let me guess. I mean, Obi-Wan decided, hell no, I'm not having you as my Padawan. <laughs> no, no, it, no, this was actually supposed to happen. But couldn't, but then, because Anakin was his Padawan. And he couldn't no, but George, George Lucas was like, no, we need another reason why Anakin goes to the dark side. So, like, in the show, they're originally going to do Ahsoka's Obi-Wan's Padawan. Yeah, let's be honest, that probably would have ended badly. <laughs> yeah, because Ahsoka doesn't follow orders like yeah, Anakin. Like Anakin. <laughs> and Rex. And generally, you don't, if you're a clone and you don't uh, follow the orders... You're considered a bad soldier. Yeah, according to Cross... Oh, wait, have you seen Bad Bat? Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, according to Crosshair, where he shoots you if you don't follow orders. Mm -hmm. Or his Imperial voice. Good soldiers follow orders. Yeah, he, isn't he the sniper of the group, so... Yep. Yes. Just give, just, just give Wrecker a proton bomb and let him throw it at him. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to see what this does next minute. Blows up an entire soul. Good soldiers follow orders. I, honestly, I feel like Wrecker, out of all of them, would probably fit me well for you. It would be, uh, what's his name? The smart one. <clears throat> no, I'm not that smart. You're smarter than me compared to the. <laughs> no, I gotta go. Okay. Good night. Up here, and then 